My name is Kevin Takahide Lee, and I live in New Westminster, British Columbia. It's my hope that people ask questions and embrace a history that's often not spoken about. I relate very strongly with my Japanese side. In 1942, in March, my family in Port Hardy were interned. That was the start of their internment. My great-grandfather knew it was coming, and they lost everything. For them, it was the start of their prison. My grandfather, being a man, was put into one of the stadiums where there were bunk beds side by side. They were basically like sardines in a can. The women were kept in the livestock barn. My grandfather and my grandmother would never talk about the internment. It's just too painful. I'm fortunate to have on my Japanese side um, a great aunt who's 93. She's one of my role models in my life. My great aunt was born in British Columbia. When the war started, her family was ordered to go to Hastings Park. When the war ended, she and many Japanese Canadians were given the option of farming beets, sugar beets in Manitoba, or that they could go back to Japan and my aunt was born in Canada, so there was no back. It was just going to Japan. It was a, a foreign world for her. It devastates me that a country that I'm so proud of turned their backs on them. With my own family history, I know that coming to a new country is terrifying. If I'm fortunate in the world, I will have more opportunity to do good and take that opportunity. That's something my mother taught me. About four years ago, I started the Newcomers Choir, and since then it's grown from five people to 35 people. And it's a choir that I wanted to act as a bridge with cultural divides, generational divides, for me, music is powerful because it is a connecting force. It brings people together. And I think it's something that we all want to do, despite some people saying that they don't want to do it. I think deep down inside, everyone wants to sing out. I enjoy helping out in the air, so I feel very proud. And that relates to my grandparents. One of the strongest and perhaps most unique aspects of the Japanese culture is the concept of shikata ganai, which translates more or less into it can't be helped. That concept, that ideal, is what got my grandparents and their family through the internment. For anyone who wants to approach the idea of reconciliation, the first step, in my opinion, is actually get to know the people to actually go on a journey to help them heal by just by listening. And then once you hear them, what they want and what they need, then we can go towards, okay, what can we do? I wanted to help immigrants and people who might not feel connected with their communities. It's grown it's so much more than I wanted what I originally thought, because we have people who are sharing their folk songs, the songs of their home, and teaching their language to people. So there's such a reward for everyone, and you get this positive feedback of one person helping another, helping another, helping another, and a community develops of that. Oh.